As we continue to count down to 2019, we want to take a moment to look back at 2018. It was a year dominated by political headlines from the Mueller investigation to the Kavanaugh hearings. And over the last 12 months, we also witnessed a royal wedding and an incredible international rescue effort inside that cave in Thailand. That was incredible. Here now, a look back at the top stories that captured our attention and yours over the last 365 days. Russia meddled in the 2016 U.S. presidential election. That criminal charge, the headline from these indictments from special counsel Robert Mueller. The entire thing has been a witch hunt, and uh, there is no collusion. A major legal upset today for Paul Manafort, President Trump's former campaign chairman. The judge today revoked Manafort's bail and sent him to jail to await trial. Manafort has nothing to do with our campaign. President Trump's personal attorney says he paid out of his own pocket to stop a former porn actress from just discussing an alleged affair. I should not be the only one taking responsibility for his actions. The life has literally been sucked out of me. You are so sick, I can't even comprehend how angry I feel when I think of you. We have a voice now. I'm giving you 175 years, which is 2,100 months. I've just signed your death warrant. An incredible fall from grace from Bill Cosby, who is now headed to prison after a judge in Pennsylvania sentenced him to three to ten years behind bars. A day of reckoning for Harvey Weinstein. The disgraced Hollywood mogul turns himself in to New York authorities this morning. Out of a job, Les Moonves is no longer the head of CBS, effective immediately. Investigators say the gunman, who had been expelled from this school last year, walked in just before dismissal when the doors weren't locked. He set off smoke bombs and pulled the fire alarms. And when students emerged from their classrooms, he opened fire. Why did this happen? Like, we could have done so much to stop this. Nicholas Cruz has confessed to authorities to the entire massacre. What do you want? Got control! What do you want? This is not going to happen again, not at my school, not at any school. Eleven people were killed, six others injured, including four police officers, when a gunman opened fire inside a synagogue in Pittsburgh this morning. A target this time, college night at a country western bar in Southern California. What we saw here today was a effort to terrorize. The FBI now investigating six different packages with explosive devices inside here in New York, Westchester County, Washington, D.C., and Florida. This entire building is now being evacuated after some kind of suspicious package was mailed here. It didn't take long for the FBI to track down Caesar Sayoc. He left fingerprints on one bomb and DNA on another. I just want you to take a look. This is what it looks like as a Cat 4 moves in. Beach towns along Florida's panhandle took the brunt of the storm. Many of these small communities now wiped out. And I feel like I'm standing in a shower because we've had this consistent rain all day today. They walk through Mexico like it's walking through Central Park. It's ridiculous. <laughs> Shame on you for letting this happen, for being willing to let kids be kept in warehouses. Someone is climbing mm -hmm. the Statue of Liberty. We're told it's a female. She was holding up a T-shirt saying Trump care makes us sick. I will nominate Judge Brett Kavanaugh to the United States Supreme Court. Brett groped me and tried to take off my clothes. This whole two-week effort has been a calculated and orchestrated political hit. Fred Kavanaugh was confirmed with 50 yay votes and 48 nays. The 28-year-old woman in Queens beating the Democratic congressman who has served 10 terms. An historic night in America. Record turnout for a midterm election. Perhaps more than 100 million voters. Republicans retained the Senate, but Democrats have now regained control of the House. Today's election made clear that New York is not buying what President Trump is selling. President Trump and Kim Jong-un agreeing to work toward peace. We're ready to write a new chapter between our nations. And the alert that was issued to thousands of people read, quote, ballistic missile threat inbound to Hawaii. The CIA now says Saudi Crown Prince Mohammed bin Salman did, in fact, order the murder of Washington Post columnist Jamal Khashoggi. If he was in front of a jury, he would be convicted in 30 minutes. Opening statements have started in the trial of the notorious Mexican drug lord known as El Chapo. This is one of the biggest losses of life that we've seen uh, in a long, long time. 18 people in a stretch limousine. Two people in a parking lot, all 
of them dead. How can God take away so many people at the same time? You can see where that bus flipped over on its side around 10 30 this morning after striking a dump truck here on Route 80 westbound. It's very heartfelt to have to inform your child that one of their classmates did pass away as well as his teacher. We were having dinner. We noticed a red helicopter going full speed towards the water. All five passengers were killed. The pilot, the sole survivor. So I need a unit. He must say some a kid was stabbed at this location in the net. The gang members accused of murdering Bronx teenager Lissandro Jr. Guzman Feliz are due back in court. They killed my son. My son was a good kid, a good child, innocent. Kate Spade's body was removed from 850 Park Avenue several hours ago, and an autopsy will be performed, even though police say it is apparent that the designer killed herself. Anthony Bourdain's fellow chef, Eric Repair, found him unresponsive in his hotel room. You know, I'm a New Yorker. I've lived here since uh, I'm 17 years old. I've had the most wonderful life and career that anybody you will ever meet. Barbara Bush, born in New York City, raised in Westchester County, died tonight on her own terms in her own home. I, George Herbert Walker Bush. I do think that, that you go to heaven, there is a heaven, and, uh, and I don't fear it. Love is not selfish and self-centered. Love can be sacrificial. I, Harry, take you, Megan. All that I am, I give to you. A wedding that has proven to be more modern and more historic than the royals have seen. In Thailand, rescue workers still holding out hope that they will find the school children and soccer coach still trapped inside a cave. Many people are coming. Many, many people. We are the first. Many people come. The world watched and hoped and prayed for rescuers to pull off a seemingly impossible mission, and today, they did it. Oh, 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 oh.